he had, I keep saying this, I can't stress it enough. A lot of times, a lot of things could be prevented if, if everybody just spread love and treat people right. Cause, say for instance, a person has a, the, doesn't have a strong mental a, a mind. The mind is not mentally stable. And if they go about their life and people treat them kind, it may be something about that kindness that kind of helps the brain process that same type of behavior. But if a person already have a mental problem and all they get is negative feedback and all that, you know, that's all they know. And, and like I had a thing on my kids, my daughter's in their room, it was pink with the ruffle bed skirt and the camper beds and all that. But I had a thing on there that said, children live what they learn. If all you learn is kindness, that's what you put out into the world. You know, unless you have some kind of mental instability or something. But I don't know. I just harp on that so much because I just think it's so important. I, um, I've been blessed to work with some very good people. I find, I, you know, I've met co-workers, y'all. We become, we don't hang out or anything, but if one is going through something, we reach out and stuff like that or like some come to town who we hadn't seen in years we all try to get together and have dinner or lunch or something you know just create a, a, a man kindness brings on peace you know it, it costs nothing to be kind to somebody and I was reading um I, Facebook posts that's why I love about Facebook I don't be into the drama and stuff but I love those that positivity and it was saying God thought enough to die for a person. So why would you be hateful to him? I ain't saying that right. I'm trying to paraphrase. I do a lot of paraphrasing, y'all. But uh, I'm going to share that exact thing with you. Because I was like, wow, that is profound. You know, you count. You don't. You want to look down on somebody because they're a drug addict or whatever. But God died for them too. Jesus died for them too. So, you know, everybody is special to him. Everybody. And it's a, a page I joined. I'm not a recovering alcoholic or nothing like that. But it's a page I joined on Facebook, and it's called Sober Dad. And they be posting some of the, the some of the testimonies on there, y'all. Ooh, have me crying. The other night I was looking at it, and it had a girl. She said she had been on meth for four years, and now she's a registered nurse. Uh, just different testimonies out by people and. Uh, Victory over drug addiction, prostitution, and just things like that. And um, and I have a confession to make. I do have an addiction, but my addiction is to food. Yes, I am a food addict. And where it gets hard and complicated with the food addiction is the fact that you have to eat to live. You don't have to eat a whole lot now. We just have to get that. <laughs> we don't have to eat a whole lot. And you know, since I've gotten older, I really don't eat as much. And since my mom died in March, I've I've lost twenty over twenty pounds. Um, you know, and since she died, I don't really. I used to, you know, uh, if you watch my videos, you'll see where my mom was living. A lot of my videos, I would share where I would be going to the store for her. Like on a Saturday morning, like how I'm getting up early. Back when she was able, I would go pick her up, and we would go to the stores together. And um, since she's gone, I get up and go by myself, except for that week when I bring my brother to the store. But um, yeah, yeah, I'm pulling up at Sam's. Now, because I prepaid, I get to park under the cover parking and it's raining. Isn't that a blessing? And all I do is go through the, go through the regular door, but then I um, get to pay and they let me out right through the door here in the front. It's got a flap right there. The flap ain't open today, though. I wonder why they put that thing there. I guess to keep people from blocking it. I guess I'll get behind him. And if I can't get out, I'll back out. But, yeah. So, it's it's very convenient. Especially, like, when I'm shopping for church, I'll come and I'll pay for everything online. And then it's better because I have a budget and I know how much I done spent already. And um, I just come on in here go up there and if it's real heavy I can get them to get somebody to help me to load it or whatever but I just come right here and get what I need but I'm not getting very much today I'm going to share what it is I just you know since my mom passed and I don't really have to shop for her I don't even I I, 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 I like grocery shopping but I used to love it I, I love going in the store so now I mean that's one of the things 
that I still do, I'm not as passionate about. But, um, yeah, I'll be back. Let me go run in here and get this stuff. Bye.